All right, so we're talking about Charles's law today. Charles's law states that the volume of a gas varies directly with the Kelvin temperature, assuming that pressure is constant. You use the form following formulas, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, or if you cross multiply. Now remember, all temperatures have to be in Kelvin, so if it's given to you in Celsius, just add 273, and I'll erase that and circle it better. That was not better. There we go. So you can see that. So let's look. So this first one, I see Celsius twice, so I'm just going to immediately, 25 plus 273, this is 298, and this is 368. Now we can get to business. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'll do it one at a time. So we have volume one, which is 250. Temperature one, which is 298. Um, we are looking for our next next volume. And then this is 368. So 368 times 250, because we're going to cross multiply, is 92,000 equals 298 times V2. Divide both sides by 298. And you get 308.72, blah, blah, blah. Now, if your teacher is mean, like I usually am, uh, I round two sig figs. So the volume is two sig figs. Our Celsius temperatures are at um, two sig figs. But I'm going to go with the two sig figs. So how about 310 milliliters? If your teacher is not mean like me, you can keep it as um, 308.7 or 309. 40 degrees Celsius. We're going to make that 313 Kelvin. And we're looking for the other temperature. So the volume to start is 2.3. Put it over 313. We're looking for our new temperature. And we have 6.5. So 6.5 times 313 is 2034.5 equals 2.3 times T2. Divide both sides by 2.3. <clears throat> and you get 884.56. So two sig figs. I hate two sig figs. Three sig figs? I guess that would be two sig figs. Eight, eight, zero? I don't know. Two sig figs seems kind of weird, but whatever. You could just keep that. And this is in Kelvin. <coughs> Excuse me. 150 um, plus 273 is four. Oh, I was changing color. I guess I'll continue to do that. This is 423. 50 plus 273. I shouldn't have needed my calculator, but I did it. Uh, the original volume. So V1 over 423 equals 75 over 323. So 323 times V1 equals 423 times 75, which is 31725. Divide both sides by 323. <clears throat> 98.2198. So two sig figs, 98. Whoops, that was weird. 98 uh, milliliters. Okay. Oh, it's in Kelvin. Nice. So, what does that say? 25? Uh, yeah, 25. 25 milliliters over 300 Kelvin equals, I don't know, volume over 600 Kelvin. So you could cross multiply all day long, or you can see, hmm, since this is a direct relationship, if the temperature is doubled, then the volume should be doubled. So it should be 50 milliliters. But if you don't trust me, 300 times V2 equals 600 times 25 which is 15000. Divide both sides by 300. 
and you get the 50 that we were talking about, okay? <clears throat> 50 plus 273 is, oh, that was just in the last one. 25 plus 273, 298. All right, so we're looking for the V2. So it starts at 2.5 and we're at 323. We're looking for the V2 and we're at 298. So 298 times 2.5 gives me 745 equals 323 times V2. Divide both sides by, whoops, 323. And you get 2.3065. Um, looks like two sig figs again, so 2.3 and that's liters. We're in Kelvin, so that's good. So original volume is 500 milliliters, 300 Kelvin. 300 milliliters, I don't know, Kelvin. So 500 T2 equals 300 times 300 is 90,000 divided by 500 is 180. All right. <coughs> 45 Celsius goes away. We make it 318 Kelvin. Negative 45 plus 273 is 228 Kelvin. So 3.8 over 228 equals, I don't know, over 318. So 228 times V2 equals 3.8 times 318 which is 1208.4. Divide both sides by 228, and you get 5.3, which is the right sig figs, liters. Oh, back to pink, I guess. Uh, I see negative 55, so negative 55 plus 273 is 218. So we start at 380, and it's 218, and we go to 250, and I don't know. So 380 times, whoops, 380 times T2 equals 218 times 250, which is 54,500. So divide both sides by 380, and you get 143, got what they got. Did I do something wrong? Answer key says something else, hold on. This is what I got. Uh, <coughs> let's see if I did it right. Original volume, oh, oh. I was looking for original temperatures. Silly, and now I erase this, so negative 55 plus 273. You can clearly see now that I am not super polished. So we start at 380, and I don't know this, T1. And then <clears throat> 250 over 218. Okay, so there we go. 380 times 218 is 82840 equals 250 times T1. Divide both sides by 250. And now I get the 331.36, which should be rounded to three sig figs, which would be the 331. That the answer key said. Excellent. You see, even teachers make mistakes. All right, if you have any questions, please let somebody know. Reach out. Thank you.